Imagine you're playing with a toy car. Normally when you push that car, it eventually stops because of friction, right? Friction is like an invisible hand that slows things down. Now imagine there was this magic carpet where your toy could zoom around forever without stopping. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Well, that's kind of what superconductors do with electricity. Normally when electricity moves through wires, it faces some resistance, like the friction your toy car faces. This resistance makes the wires heat up and some of the electricity is lost as heat. But in a superconductor, electricity can flow forever without losing any energy. It's like the electricity is on its own magic carpet. So why is this important? Well, it could change the way we use electricity. We could have power lines that don't lose any energy, super fast computers, and even super fast trains that float above the tracks. I recently created a YouTube short talking about the announcement of LK99, a potential room temperature superconductor discovery out of Korea that had various people raising their eyebrows. The discovery was announced without any peer reviews, and as other groups have been checking it out, one thing is quickly becoming clear. This isn't a sure thing. Over on Wikipedia, there are details about the various tests that are being done to either refute or verify the claims of the scientists that wrote about this discovery. And so far, while some theoretical studies and computer modeling both show some promise in LK99, no one has actually been able to verifiably repeat the results in the real world, despite how easy it is to make this material. Don't get me wrong, there are some potential successes. Over on Aries Sanada's website, there's a table that talks about various outcomes beyond what Wikipedia has been showing. Huazong University of Science and Technology has potentially had success, but there are a ton more failures than successes in both sources. Why is this captivating so many people's imagination? Beyond what I mentioned before, superconductors can make MRI machines more powerful and more precise at a lower cost. Imagine more hospitals being able to take advantage of this known magnetic resonance imaging technology to more often better diagnose patients. It could also help improve our next generation super colliders like the Large Hadron Collider, so we can continue to unlock the secrets of the universe in a less expensive and more performant way. Beyond just saving energy loss in power lines, it could change power generation and storage completely with better battery charging for electric vehicles, better battery storage for solar grids, and wind turbines that are more efficient. Or even more potentially outrageous, the potential benefits of space exploration sound like they're from science fiction. Imagine a ship that launches from Earth using a plasma rocket contained and controlled by superconductors. And once in space, the magnetic propulsion system turns on and speeds up the craft in a highly efficient way. Then, also thanks to superconductors, we could generate magnetic fields that could potentially be used to protect the spacecraft from things like cosmic radiation. Of course, any scientific fact in all of this is way above my understanding, but the what-ifs of this discovery are transformative, and I hope if LK99 isn't the solution, that it will help inspire the next discovery that maybe eventually leads us to room temperature superconductors.